And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Levi control to kick off donation deck day. That's what we have today. We've uh, been saving up over the weekend. We've gotten some donation decks to get to. And so we got four kind of new decks to play, as you can see over on the left hand side. First one here is going with Levi control. So that's combining Lee Sin, three copies and Vi, three copies. So our deck's kind of similar to the uh, Vimerdinger deck that's pretty popular because we are Ionia and PNZ control with Vi, uh, but we have some differences. You know, we're going to be a little bit more, um, a little bit more combat oriented, um, wanting to have both Vi be a challenger and Lee Sin be a challenger. Are these like the only challengers that are not in? Freljord or Demacia? They may be. No, there's Challenger and Bilgewater. But anyway, sorry. Um, and so, like, with that, like, uh, Challenger's going to kind of play a, a pretty big part of our deck. We even have a couple Sonic Waves in here to do some more Challenger stuff. Um, Key Guardians can help uh, give our allies a barrier, which is really nice. If we can, um, you know, play them right away with the Challenger, then their first um, thing they challenge, they don't have to worry about them taking any damage. Um, we also have like the double spell cards, like the payoffs with Claw of the Dragon and Eye of the Dragon. So we got some payoffs there too. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what our deck's about. We even have some jewel protectors. They can make our champions or somebody else, but it can make the champions like really big and then make it uh, make the challengers um, you know even harder to kill. Like we saw how difficult it was to kill Vi when Vi had five health. Now imagine by having seven health, which is what Jeweled Protector could do. Really hard to kill. Or if we pump up Lee Sin, then a leveled up Lee Sin would have seven power, and so the Dragon's Rage would be doing seven uh, to their unit and seven to their Nexus. Pretty powerful stuff. So that's why we got these Jeweled Protectors in here. All right. So anyway, let's uh, play some Levi Control. We're going to go play five games over in ranked, like we always do, even with donation decks and everything also gangplank likes to eat his oranges after he's dipped them into the ocean it's weird so like gangplank's like you know two miles in inland like for some reason and got some oranges and he's gonna eat lunch and he's like no gotta go to the beach gotta go dip these in the ocean first um Sejuani, Fiora, Ash. Okay, those are those are good cards. Those are good cards. I don't like, I don't dislike this hand. You're gonna keep it. I do like how I'm just gonna key guardian the Lee Sin. Or never mind, gonna key guardian the Vi. Yeah, yep, there's also the combo, that's true. We also have the, the Key Guardian, um, Claws of the Dragon combo. Yep, that we can get. They attack in, we play any burst speed spell, and then also play a Key Guardian, granting barrier to the Claws of the Dragon. It comes into play. Surprise! For now, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pass. We could play Claws of the Dragon, but it's not like... I'm not blocking this 2-1 anyway, so it's not really a, a big reason to. Maybe we draw a spell that next turn we can play the Key Guardian and the spell um, and get the Claws of the Dragon in for free. In name. Um, and it's not like this mana's not going anywhere. So it's okay to pass and not use it. The Order rewards its fate. Have a Rosen Trapper. The trap is set. Hmm. Tell 
me mask, secure me tail, start to die. That can't be. I'm through with no attacks. Darn, they attacked. Oh, Alright, so we get right we get the cheap burst spell with Chump Lump. Can play that. Do I even want to put it on Claws of the Dragon? I may just want to put it on the Vi. I think I just want to put it on the Vi anyway, so I can have Vi challenge and Rage Yeti. I'll just let the Claw of the Dragon die. Quiet steps. The dragon approaches. I don't like that card. It's that great. It's just a three-two. They walked around. Ah. Hey, Night Storm. Welcome to the stream. One girl wrecking crew. Our strength is yours. Here's the freeze. <laughs> okay, that was silly. They should be at sixteen. <laughs> I was just so focused on doing that, and like right, I I just kind of instinctively like did that, clicked OK, and then I, then like right after I clicked OK, I was like, what? No, I meant to attack with this too. <laughs> it was just instincts. Uh, that's all right though. That's all right. Okay, let's see. Let's go. <laughs> Been there, done that. So I would like to go jewel protector on the Leeson. Doesn't give me like the best blocks this turn. Um, you know, I could like Spirit's Refuge this Vi. Also. Hmm. Maybe it's just Spirit's Refuge on the Vi. I'm a little worried about Frostbite spell. All the world on one arrow. Hmm. That's bad. That's bad. All right, so we can go block here. It's this thing jumps. I can kill Avaros and Sentry, but they get to draw a card. The or I could just wants. let Vi take one damage. I'm, I'm definitely blocking it. It's either I let Vi take one damage or I play this Mushroom Cloud. I guess I... Mm, I may kind of need the Mushroom Cloud next turn. Okay, I'll just I'll just block. Shadow. Yeah, they did draw their yetis right away. Should probably level up Vi. Should be casting health potion on me. Choose the right time to strike. But hmm. 
If I level up Vi, I mean, the only way to keep Vi alive and actually level up Vi is... Yeah, hit this little bird. I will not hold back. I don't know, they're getting like harsh winds here or something. I don't know, they did the GG thing. Not sure what that means. Hey, noob loco. Yeah, we just have to be careful with the Spirit's Refuge. This it's not... This is not a guaranteed gain a whole lot of life. I don't blame you. Not in a matchup where they have Frostbite. So we gotta, we gotta be careful with this card. Because it's, it's a very valuable card. Not dead yet now, but tell it to the fists. I will not hold back. I don't know. This game, this game is definitely up in the air. I don't know why they did the whole GG thing. Did they think that that was gonna be lethal for them? I'm just confused. I would love to be able to play Spirits of Refuge this turn, but I, you know, I can't let them just challenge and then, you know, like, do attack, attack, then challenge kind of thing. You're just going to be going down to one. Conflict is all in the mind. Sure hope they didn't just draw a frostbite card. I think it's the best to, to have Vi, because Vi does Vi does 15, right? Like we gain 15 with Vi. So I guess I may have been able to do Lee Sin. I guess if I would have played another spell, I could have done the Lee Sin um, level up and probably killed them. Probably. I just wanted to have deny. Of it. I just wanted to still keep deny available. Will no one listen? The jewel protector making Lee Sin, you know, a six nine. That's huge. Yeah, we should be pretty safe now, 16 life. And a deny, we should be pretty safe. I was forged by winter. Carved from the savage cold. Should be. 
a yodel in uniform. Ride onward. You gotta believe me. you I know this is gonna get frostbitten but I think I'd, I'd rather have the chump lump take four damage than me take four damage and while these two mushroom clouds would be really good for Lisa next turn I have the deep meditation that I can use for next turn at three mana now um, And I want I want to just increase their chance of drawing pop caps right now. Oh, I guess I could have yeah, I guess that's true. I could have bar block with a barrier to lease in. I guess that's true. Good. <clears throat> I could have done that instead of four health on this thing, but I don't think it will really matter. Conflict is all in the mind. Conflict is all in the mind. Okay, I think I think I get what you're what you're trying to say. Conflict is all in the mind. I think we understand now. Center your spirit. Well, that was useless. Yeah, I'm not a very good Lee Sin player. I was thinking just get the barrier on there. <laughs> First game of the day. Forgot about the whole Dragon's Rage thing again. <laughs> Should be fine still. Everything's fine. Alright, we can deny here. I will not hold back. Now I got barrier. Yeah, yeah, donation decks will go up on YouTube, just like normal. Yep. Yep, this video will be going up on YouTube as soon as we're done. Can't wait for the Sejuani Plunder. Okay, yeah, get the game playing Sejuani Plunder. We'll play that, playing that deck up third. Callista Hecarim. Do I keep Lee Sin? Am I supposed to just, like, keep both champions? Obviously, I'm keeping Vi. And these other two guards are gone. What do y'all think? Am I supposed to keep Lee Sin? Alright. Um, I'm gonna say... Put it back. But our champions are so good and so important. We definitely see keep in. Oh no. Watch out for Thresh. Watch out for Thresh. 2 3. I can't kill a 2 3. Huh. I don't really have any viable plays. 
I guess I'll pass. Aren't getting better. Could double Mystic Shant the two three? What's that noise? Yuck. Approaches. Huh. Had that the whole time. Come, the journey ahead is long. Uh, this is scary. So I wanted to get the the key guardian on this chump lump because I figured they'd be playing some kind of ephemeral. And I want to be able to block it with a barrier. So they get a, a last breath follower or a, a spiderling. Spiderling seems less valuable. Rude. All right, so trade. Jump one for Mystic Shot. Plus we save five damage, plus we get two mushroom clouds. So not the worst. Vi, stand for violence. Um, I don't know if there's any champions that are gonna be nerfed in the next patch. I don't there's nothing that really seems like they need to do right now, if you ask me. I think that it's it's, honestly, the game's in a really good spot. It feels like everything's pretty viable and, and even kind of across the board. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, I, don't, I don't know of any champions that are... Like, must change kind of thing. I mean, yeah. It's, as far as pumping up champions, Braum, Braum could definitely use a buff. Brom's really not good enough, but as far as as far as um, nerfing, I, I don't really know if anything needs to be nerfed. There you are. Get him, get him. Kind of ugly. Uh, let's get to the fun part. Is there a fun part? The big use of resources. But I do have resources. So slowing the game down is, is really valuable. Getting those things out of here that would have been doing their challenger thing, bringing back the 4 2 shark, having this thing out here, seeing everything die, do a bunch of damage to me. So, party. so I think that was pretty valuable. Good, good slowdown. They never stop. Hmm. Another shark. Not 
pity winter. There's the one two punch. All right, down to ten. Mike, welcome back. There you go. Okay, gotta keep that sub going. Thirty-seven awesome months. First sub of the day. Thanks, Mike. So I think I just pass. I could just throw these mushroom clouds at them just to get them out of my hands. But I think I pass. Because if they play Phantom Prankster, then I challenge that. Maybe, oh, I guess I could challenge the Soul Shepherd, I guess. Yeah, we could do the Soul Shepherd. That's how we do it. I didn't use the barrier car to kind of keep Will of Ionia up, but I don't know if we would need that really. It's more more to have progress day for this turn. Um, I don't know. Are they attacking with that thing? Ugh, another sharp chariot. All right, so I have twelve mana. Check that. Eleven mana. Eight plus three is eleven, not twelve. And that means I don't get to do all three of these. Chump Walm, Spirit's Refuge, Will of Ionia. So we can only do two. So I think I want to do the Refuge. Definitely want to do the Refuge. And then I think Will of Ionia for the other one. There's the one two punch. Let's see. So this will be three, four, five, six. Oh, Shark Chariot got me. You gotta be kidding me. If I would have done, if I would have tried to gain the ten, like I could have gained the ten life the previous turn, but they did have that five five mana, and they could have had Grasp of the Undying the previous turn still. So unless they would have just top decked Grass the Undying, which isn't very likely. It's more likely they just drew that Callista because they had the ability to play the Callista before and didn't. Or the Shark Chariot, I guess. Possible, but... Um, I could have... Let's see. So I, I could have bounced the Shark Chariot and they could have replayed the Shark Chariot, but I guess if they replayed the Shark Chariot, they wouldn't have had the mana for Grass of the Undying. That's why I didn't bounce it because they could just replay it. But I guess that would have cut out two mana. It's usually the ideal scenario is trading a Will of Ionia for two mana, but how that turn played out, I guess that would have been the play. We need to get some earlier stuff against Misfortune Gangplank. Shark Chariot's pretty good. That's pretty good. Drawn all three is a good spot to be. 
This land is ours. The spirit gives to those who listen. That attune is really nice. Giving us a blocker for Omen Hawk, and we can still Mystic Shant as well. Ready yourself. Oh yeah, yeah. The the third shark was from the one one. I guess I, yeah, I guess I didn't notice that. Or was the second shark from the one of the sharks was from the one one that died? No, I didn't really notice that. So I'd like to next turn play Key Guardian and Mystic Shots. Dogs like clawing on the carpet. Hmm. That's gonna be. That's gonna be something that's gonna be pretty big. Definitely glad no elixir of iron. This is our home. Breathe in, breathe out. Oh, the animation's only for the owner, so we, we can't even see if it hit the hit or not. I thought it hit, but yeah, I wasn't paying too close attention. Maybe it didn't. Given by a barrier, it's pretty silly. Break their legs. There's the one two punch. I'm gonna get these these mushrooms first for the lease in. Looking for trouble? It found you. I definitely really like these mushrooms for the lease in. Force is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, master. Okay, it has the same animation as Shared Spoil or Starlet Seer. Okay, so did it did it hit? I guess I'm not sure. I thank you, this is pretty nice having like Leeson and Vi to or like you know similar-ish cards and um you know so you just have like a a critical mass of them now having th three Vi and three Lee Sin of just these huge um champions of the challenger. Okay, you don't think it hit. All right, thanks, Mike. Okay, so that, that's the donation deck right there. Change it. Feel free to change it up. All right. Will do. Thank you, Mike. Um, dealing with Heimerdinger is kind of a problem besides just our champions. Uh...
I don't know. I'm gonna keep the deep meditation. But I could see me being sad about that. Like if they just have and I just got rid of the Mystic Shot. I'm worried worried that they have Kempunk Pickpocket here, turn two, because they have the attack token turn two. Good. Glad they don't have it. Rain from a cloudless sky. Yeah, that card's so much worse than Kempunk Pickpocket. Um. Hmm. Basically, always have a three mana card, don't they? Like Shadow Assassin. No, I guess not. Played that last turn and didn't want to. Within my grasp. It's not the best trade. Not the best trade for me. Like that. Thermogenic Beam's a good removal spell. I like getting that out of there. I really wish we drew a champion by now. So we could Jewel Protector, use it, and then use it on the champion. I could also just go Eye of the Dragon in Deep Meditation. <laughs> Deep meditation plus the this mushroom cloud. Maybe that's the play with having this progress day. Gonna have Heimerdinger, and now I don't have Gotcha. Good. Not Heimerdinger. Let none disturb my meditation. Breathe in, breathe out. Tread lightly, strike hard. They have something else with the with the barrier with Key Guardian. I would have thought that was a Heimerdinger. I'm glad they didn't just play one. Yeah, this is Levi right now that we're playing. Yep. Eminently logical. It was. They just didn't play it last turn. If I must. That's gotta be a risky block, right?
Alright, Time Redinger is kind of a little bit better than what we're doing. Round and round and round it goes. My most groundbreaking invention to date. We don't have Static Shock or anything like that to take out these three ones. We have gotten very lucky on Puff Caps, though. They've already drawn four Puff Caps, four of the ten. We've been getting lucky there. don't really love playing the gotchas. Like, I try gotcha, they go twin disciplines, protect, get another 3-1. Dang. They did that before I played... These other puff caps. I'm gonna be playing both puff caps this turn. We each hold the world within. So I can get the two two one life steals. wish Vi was an 8 4. As far as challenging the 8 8 is concerned. Yeah, yep, we're playing Lee Sin and Vi. Yep, that's what our deck is. Trying to get through Heimerdinger, but Heimerdinger is pretty ridiculous. I guess if, there, if there's one if there's one champion to nerf, I could see it be Heimerdinger. And really, really just the one thing is I could see just making, like whenever you create a fleeting turret instead of it costs zero this this round it costs one this round maybe leveled up higher reading or cost zero still i could see doing that if like just these turrets still cost one mana to get You don't understand why they nerfed Vi and not Heimer, because because Vi was everywhere. I mean, like Demacia was splashing for Vi, like Karina control is really good with Vi. Like Vi was just everywhere. R -R. Here's the fun part. Coming at ya. Oh dear. Escape. You think Heimerdinger would completely disappear if turrets cost one mana?
known for vicious. There's no way they have anything to protect the Heimerdinger with 10 cards, right? This is definitely going to work. They have... Yeah, there's no way they have any kind of protection spells whatsoever. Conflict is all in the... Ying Yue. Been in my box. Oh, really? You always did think too much. I, think, I don't know. The more I think about it, I really do think that would be pretty fair of having I the turrets cost one mana. More. Because yes, if if you want to play, you know, like five turrets, it does that does cost a lot of mana. You get does cost five mana, but that as is, is that really fair? Just getting all those those things for for free, you know, getting all these three ones and four ones and eight eights for free. Is that fair? There's not really anything that beats Heimerdinger straight up, right? Like, if you can't kill Heimerdinger. Yes, they... Yes, you could say they miss lethal with Twin Disciplines doing the plus, but they could have been worried about me having, like, a Mystic Shot or um, another Burst Speed spell and then put a blocker out. I mean, I guess I already did blocks, though, didn't I? So I couldn't, I couldn't have that, so it'd be, like, a Mystic Shot. Um, get rid of this. I think this, this is all reasonable. Yeah, five mana for a 1-3. I mean, it's still... It can be a 1-3 that generates... Generates bodies. I mean, whenever you play, like when you play Heimerdinger and Flash of Brilliance, you're not just getting just a one, a one three. Nothing escapes my way. I don't even want to kill either of these things. I guess I could have just hard cast the claws of the dragon because I wasn't doing anything else with that mana.
Well then. That's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Your instincts speak. You lack subtlety. Bye. A little late, bye. So we'll have Mystic Shot take out the 7 2, turn Vi into a 3 4. Everyone's a garden. That's a problem. Alright, looks like they get to level up Callista. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. The Guru follows fresh meat. The dragon binds us. Your lesson begins. Just in case. But I'm kind of expecting Glimpse Beyond. So I'm kind of expecting. Hey, what's up, Platformer? Thanks for checking out the stream. Welcome to the channel. Glad you've seen the, the YouTube videos and everything. Ow, ow. So that gives me the two spells this turn. So we'll get the two life steals. The two life steals does kind of mean that I'm not really playing Lee Sin because I'll have a full board. Breathe in, breathe out. Hmm. Probably be the other way around. Coming at ya. Move it. All right, so my Vi will likely die right here. I just kind of want to. I don't want to use the twin disciplines to protect Vi. Um, and then they. You know, 
Vile Feast this thing, they keep a leveled up Callista. I think that I want to make sure that the leveled up Callista is gone. So, you know, we're basically trading our Vi for that Callista and this other 4 4. Okay, well, I can't. Uh, yeah, can't stop that. So, we can just save Vi instead. When I have cast multiple spells this turn, I don't need to worry about the Mushroom Cloud. We did the whole Challenger thing and stuff like that. We'll be getting some more life steals for defense. Defensive purposes. Cool, the Bilge the Bilgevar Prankster deck. Nice. Yeah, it's a fun one. Yeah, we did have them use Vengeance on a on a card we got for free, so we can't be too mad at that. Um, hmm. I'm just supposed to try to get that um, that nine nine out of here. Get back here. Oh, oh Trossy doesn't kill me yet. Yeah, if they have atrocity, I lose. Is underrated. Oh, right. I don't need to do the whole barrier thing. Right. Oh, well, well now they, they know that they can just fire off atrocity at me. Double they who endure and atrocity also. I must That's unfortunate. More. No will of Ionia's or denies for me. I think I have mulliganed will of Ionia in that that matchup, and I feel bad about mulliganing that. I should not have. Yeah, I should not have mulliganed that. I, I think I did. I think I I think I sent a will of Ionia back. Um, I was thinking about that during the end, and I was thinking, man, that was a bad idea because of atrocity. But of course, you know, like we don't need that Will of Ionia until like you know turn eight or whatever. Turn nine. It's not like something that I want early, but they had a good hand. You know the uh, the Crocolith. You know Crocolith does it. It's not always easy to play Crocolith, but yeah, they got to play that Crocolith on turn four. Um, yeah, they had a good hand. And then yeah, double they who enter. That's why I sacrificed the, you know, because that they who endure atrocity is so hard to, to stop. That's why I sacrificed Vi, just to get that, get the first they who endure out of here and make it so I couldn't, so I didn't die to atrocity. So I felt good. 
but they had another one so ggs um but yeah so this deck was pretty fun to play i you know it's not it's not like super easy i think i i made uh some mistakes while we were playing it but i i did like playing vi and lee sin i i have to say i was impressed with chump lump a whole lot with like the mushroom clouds as gaining those cheap spells for lee sin was pretty crucial um this True Shot Barrage looks pretty silly. I don't think that that's a card that I'm that interested in. Um, I And I, I honestly just am not really sold on this stuff. Claw of the Dragon, Eye of the Dragon. I've never really thought this stuff's very good. And by, by never, I mean during preview, I thought it was going to be really good, but then just afterwards. I, could decide, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not sold on that stuff. Um myself i would rather have um i did like the key guardian a lot i did like like those but i'd rather have uh Kempunk pickpocket add two mana that can just steal games if they don't if you you know you do play against a deck like you know like uh you know vimerdinger for example if they don't have the answer to it on turn two which you know maybe they have the mystic shot or the thermogenic beam or maybe they don't maybe they mulliganed it like if they don't have it can just steal games um i'd rather have that and uh some more that like the three mana cards like we've seen with vimerdinger how great shadow assassin and solitary monk are i don't know like why why we're not doing that stuff i don't know why we're not playing shadow assassin and solitary monk those cards are great um and we have two shadow assassin but that's one like shadow assassin needs to be a three of this is this card should just always be a three of but yeah i think that we could have more solitary monk um um again twin disciplines awesome i would play more twin disciplines probably get rid of flash of brilliance it is nice having cheap burst speed cheap burst speed spells for lee sin and that's why i really liked the chump wump but i would like myself i, I wouldn't play those two drops and then I would have, um, I mean, maybe like an Eye of the Dragon, maybe. But I wouldn't have Claws of the Dragon. Get like some pickpockets instead. And Shadow Assassin and a couple Solitary Monk. Something like that. It's just like a 1-3, a you know, like the... Like this thing, like you don't really want to attack or block with this 1-3, and then some turns, but not very often, but some turns you get like a 2-1 lifesteal. If it's like a defensive turn and they're not attacking, that's not very valuable, but then if it's your offensive turn. I mean, it's it's not like it's, I mean, and then like that can just like really take up like your, your room in your deck, or like like on your board there, like it take up room there for you. I don't know, I, I don't love it. Would a deck with Lee Sin and Heimerdinger work? Of course. Yep, definitely. Definitely. Of course, playing those cards and not like it does make Sonic Wave worse. Like, so I don't I don't think you'd you'd have to like just you'd kinda of have to start changing the deck up a little bit anyway. Like you'd want to play more twin disciplines to protect Solitary Monk, um, and stuff like that, like less Sonic Wave. Sonic Wave, um uh, the like so the draglings make Sonic Wave a lot better. And so on. So, you know, like, this this is more, like, going towards, like, what Vimerdinger is like. But, you know, playing Lee Sin instead of Heimerdinger. Um, but then, you know, keeping some of the, this aspects, like Chump Wump, to help support Lee Sin and stuff like that. Um, but there we go. Uh, that's, I don't, yeah, I just want to kind of talk about the two drops there. Anyway, um, this was a fun deck to play, though. I was I was really impressed with Jewel Protector. So, yeah, both both Chump Lump and Jewel Protector looked really good. Um, really liked how Jewel Protector made these things, especially made Lee Sin bigger. I liked that quite a bit. Um, and there we go. Uh, so, yeah, Eye of the Dragon's good to slow opponents down. Eh, kind of. 
but yeah, with a lot of a lot of the aggressive decks are yeah, like you said, like fear fear you know doesn't slow down the fearsome, but doesn't slow down elusives. Um, there's not really like burn around anymore where it could kind of like the that health against burn, and again, and it's so slow against control decks. There's a lot of like control decks, and, and then uh, like your like your aggro decks are like the misfortune decks, which I don't, I don't know if we're two one draglings are very good at blocking against misfortune, and Sejuani with the overwhelm, like those decks that just hit so hard. Just feel like they're not they're not as impactful as like as other options can be. All right, anyway, uh, that's Lee Vi Control. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments. Like, you know, let me know what you think of, of the two drops. You know, if you like that synergy, uh, you want the power, like, you know, like, let me know what you think about that kind of stuff over there on YouTube. Uh, but anyway, yeah, thank you so much, Core Deck. Yeah, thanks for the donation deck here. Um, and uh, everybody else, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.